Everything is for love. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I uh, got an inspiration to do a writing. Um, and if you don't know what I do, I do automatic writing and things just come in, uh, downloads, information, um, things to share for my own journey and for others to help. And um, of course, there are sessions that if I have a one-to-one -one session with somebody or uh, whatever I'm guided to share, so I, I share that. And one of the things that happens, you know, um, it, it's like this knowing to just pick up the pen or to start typing and things just flow out. So it's like it's kind of like a download automatic, but I call automatic writing, and it comes out, um, you know, as I'm as I'm doing it, but also it flows through me. Um, so it's kind of like a, a mixture of different things. It's like a download through automatic writing, channeling information. And then I share, you know, with others what I'm guided to share. And so this was inspired to me today. Um, and I'll go ahead and share that with you and kind of talk about it a little bit um, to kind of expand more on it um, in that. And so it, it's kind of talking about that everything is for love. And so for the perspective of source is love, everything is made in the image of love right so the purpose of love for love everything that we do and experience um, is for the purpose of love even when it isn't right and a lot of people may not <laughs> be able to understand that or um, maybe agree with it you know because when we are in a space of suffering um, it certainly doesn't feel like love but it all is all for the purpose of love right and so regardless of that that's what it is, right? And so um, kind of this is what I'm going to talk about here on the channeling that I got this morning. Um, so it says everything is for love. When you can understand that, uh, you will understand even your suffering is in the name of love. Otherwise, how would you know the difference of what love is if you don't experience the different streams of consciousness of what love is not? Now, I've explained before uh, the different streams of consciousness. So you have the lack of and then love. And so you have all the different streams within between that creates the experience of it and different levels of vibration and energy. And so you can be from here to here experiencing all these different levels of awareness within love, which is going to range from dislike, like, love, hate, all the different, a lot of people call them the emotions, it's the streams of consciousness that we're feeling and being and believing in and experiencing and evolving through the different consciousness, right? And so as this, as I channel it, um, whereas like Abraham Hicks would say, you know, the, the emotional scale, as I'm explaining it, as they've explained it to me, is there's these streams of consciousness, right? Because that's what it is. It's a stream of consciousness that we experience on the timeline of where we are based on where we are at the moment, right? And so we could be experiencing anything from here to here. And so that is our experience. And so coming from love, where all we can experience love is on the other side, we're coming into this dimension of reality in order to experience all these things in fullness to the highest of it. Right, so the extremes, um, which a lot of people will say, oh, well, it's duality, but there's no duality because there's only one. And so it's only one extreme to the other, right, that we experience them from. And they live and exist on all levels of awareness and conscious that what we're doing, right, to help us prepare for what is love, right? And so it's all in the name of love, right? And so going on to say the different streams of conscious of what love is not. And so what is not love, right? It's everything else that isn't love on the streams of consciousness, right? And so it's the narrative commentary of kindness. And um, so what is kindness, right? Um, that is, and it shows here, it says of kindness, that is the like, right? And so, which is the match to be like itself, right? And so this kind of is talking about how 
you know, if we're not love, we're on the streams of consciousness, right? And so from the consciousness, where are we, right? And so to be like is to liken. So the like is to be what we are projecting and receiving, experiencing and feeling, knowing and believing. Uh, the realities, the dimensions, the experience, uh, the fulfillment or the emptiness of it. And so where are you on the stream of like, right? Because if you're not in love, you're in like. And because if you're not choosing love, you're automatically choosing like. Because if you can't be loved, you're going to be something else, right? And so it's an automatic like. So what is like? Like is what we are outside of love. Because love is just love. And then whatever thing isn't love is outside of that. And so that's the stream of conscious where you may be having a bad day or experiencing sadness or loneliness, right? And so what's going to happen is you're going to project that and be a match to somebody else who is also uh, in a match to that in alignment and that will show up in your reality. And it's for the purpose of showing you where you are on the stream of conscious that's outside of love. Right? And so that helps you to become an indicator and awareness of where you are by reflecting that back to yourself through something else outside of yourself. So like the mirror reflection. So say you, somebody else is showing up oh, as they're lonely, okay, mirror reflection, because it's obviously there and it's here and it's showing you where you are and it's bringing it up within you so you can see it. And because if you, and it, it'll go into talking about this, because if you weren't in that space, you wouldn't be able to see it, right? So if that's not where you are on the stream of conscious, you wouldn't be aware of that, right? You wouldn't be acknowledging that. You wouldn't be seeing it. You wouldn't be experiencing it. And so it's a reflection back to you where I am on the stream of conscious, where I am not in love, right? And I'm not talking about in love as in love with the person, but in the space of love, just being love, right? And that's our consciousness, our awareness. That's our true destiny, our awareness and our consciousness of love. So... With that being said, when we're in like, outside of the consciousness of love, which is source, directly connected, we are in like, likeness to ourselves, which is the expansion of awareness to where we are on the timeline that helps us navigate ourselves back to love because where we are, we may not want to be. And so from that point of view, where am I? And so speaking on that, through seeing where we are is the awareness. So say I'm having a bad day. I'm now becoming aware I'm having a bad day. And so what is, that's my awareness becoming aware of the bad day, right? And so it may show up in my reality if I'm not paying attention or changing it, right? If I'm not deciding to choose love, if I'm not deciding to be and have a better day, you know, it's going to show up in my reality to be like, okay, come on, you, you are where you are, you're recognizing it, and the universe is showing it back to you, it's reflecting it back to you, whether that's through your family, your friends, your job, having a flat tire, you're, bad, you're, you're proving to yourself that your day is going bad. And so that's reflecting back to you where you are on the timeline to make a change. And so it's okay to be aware of it, but are you really aware of it? Are you aware that, okay, this is where I am. I need to change this. And so then make change towards back to love. I'm going to have a better day, right? And you can change that in every moment, every second of the day, every time you become an awareness of something that's in your outside world, showing back and reflecting to you that you're outside of the room of love, that you can change it, right? And it's expression of where you are. It's showing up for you in a reality so you can see, right? And so... A lot of people are maybe not be aware of how this actually works. Um, the reflection in the mirror, right? It's not you just sitting there looking in the mirror. <laughs> you know, it's the world reflecting back to you who you are, where you are, when, when you're being it. And that's the awareness that takes place that sees it. Okay, I see this, right? Um, and so what am I going to do with it? Right? Because it's one thing to be aware, but then to make change and do something with it is a whole different ballgame. So do I change my awareness and do I head back towards love, up, up into the fullness of love, or do I keep staying here simulating this over and over again until I do something about it, change it, right? Or am I going to waddle in it or stay in, in the reflection of itself and things just keep going on and on and on until I change, until I choose something else, right? And so being able to, to understand this and have the... Um, 
understanding of how this works, um, it can be mon monumental, you know, in our life journey, you know, and, and navigating our lives in a better direction and helping us understand ourselves and how we are uh, within this realm of what love is not. It's the narrative commentary of kindness, which is kindness, likeness. Um, that is the like, the match to be, which is the be like itself, to itself. That is not being love, what is, which is love. So you're being anything other than love. So whenever you're being anything other than love, you're reflecting back to yourself what isn't love. And so it shares with you the DNA and the information constructs of where you are. And when you are in love, you are love, right? And then you're divinely connected with source. And so you can't be anything other than love when you're in that moment of love, right? And that's the stream of conscious of love in its fullness, right? Because that's all that it can be. Love can't be anything else other than love, right? And so when we're out of it, on the other, the end, the other stream of it, from here to there, we're being in the uh, lack or emptiness of it. And so again, you have all the different streams of conscious within no love to love, right? And so with that, you have the ability to do and be anything, right? You choose whatever because love just is love. And sadness is just sadness, and happiness is just happiness, right? But we make so much more out of it, right, than what it really is. And so that's where we get into judgment and thinking it's the other person or blaming and shaming or diagnosing ourselves with illnesses and issues that really doesn't happen. It's just because we are not understanding where we are on the timeline and our experience and expression of it to its fullest from love to not love, right? And that happens on every dimension, of the realities, whether that's like your health, your wealth, your abundance, your relationships, um, everything, right? Um, and so a being is not being what is other than love that is being right now in the moment here where you are, that you are being a match to that is an evolutionary process within itself. Right, and so it was created that way. It's been created that way by source, that this is how we work and evolve within the world. It's how we navigate through the world. And so it's an evolutionary process within itself that's built in to our evolution, um, to be of it in evolution of itself, whereas you are directing you to be where you are so that you can see where you are and act accordingly to that which is being now shared with you to the highest states of being, which is the highest and the lowest states of being that you can ever be for yourself, right? And you get to choose that, right? And so becoming aware of where you are on the timeline, the streams of consciousness, um, if you're not having a good day and you become aware of it, you can change that immediately within the moment by thinking something else. Okay, this is what it is. This is where I am. And that's okay. I'm choosing a better day. I'm choosing everything to work out for me. Utilizing different modalities, whether you want to do affirmations, if you want to do positive thinking, changing your mind, becoming aware, present, you know, there's different things that you can use to do that and then start shifting and changing the energy vibration because what's happening now is a result of prior thoughts and actions, behaviors and beliefs, right? And so it's just showing up now in the moment, even though you may not be aware of it that you created at that time, but now it's showing up because it's evolving, right? And so we may lose, uh, you know, time um, with that um, and keeping track of it because maybe today we're having a great day and all of a sudden my, our day like is a flip immediately. But that's because it was a result that's now showing up because you at some point hit it in the timeline and it evolved through and now you get to change it, right? And so now my awareness becoming aware that I'm having a bad day, I'm going to change, I'm choosing to have a better day today. I choose my, my day to go better. And whether you sit and meditate or do affirmations or writing, you know, stuff to change it, you know, use that and put those into place at the moment when you realize what's happening, right? So you change and shift that accordingly. Um, but we always have every opportunity, every second of the day in the moment in our lives to do this, right? And so there's no reason not to do it. Awareness of itself that is being now is now that you can be it without comparing yourself to others. And this kind of talks a little bit about how um, the reflection 
that we see of ourselves within others, which is reflecting actually back to us that we can see within ourselves. And it's about kind of the scenario that I can put out there, you know, really to that is like if we're comparing ourselves to others, right? And so instead of comparing ourselves to other where, where they are and where we are is separation, right? And so I'm having a bad day, they're not having a bad day. So we're reflecting out uh, what it is that we want, right? Um, and so it's not about, you know, being jealousy or angry or, um, uh, you know, whatever you're, you're expressing out because maybe you're seeing another person isn't, right? And so if we're having, you know, if we have the feelings of like jealousy come up or whatever it is, you know, towards others or, you know, where the judgment, the separation of where they are from where we are, right? That's kind of what it's talking about. Um, so that you can be it without comparing yourself to others. So we don't want to compare ourselves to others. It's not about comparing ourselves to each other, right? It's about where I am and you are. It's about them reflecting back to us where we are, right? And it's not that they're there fully. It's just they have that within themselves to reflect back to us because they have that. They've either experienced it or they hold it within themselves where they're there, right? And so for you to be able to be aware of that in something outside of yourself, it's within that as well. It's within us and we're in with that. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see it if it wasn't. Because you may have that experience with one person, um, maybe having a bad day and the next person is having a great day. So it's not in everybody, right? At the same time, it's different, right? If you see it from that perspective. Right, and so it's not about comparing yourself to others. Where am I on the timeline compared to where other people are, or what what it is, or uh, you know different things like that? It's where you are is reflecting back to you, where you are in the moment, um, and whether you're aware of it or not, it brings your awareness to it so that you can see it, right? And then we change it, and so it's not the comparing of itself in its reflection of self that you see that you are comparing yourself to, uh, the energetic, genetic makeup sharing information uh, with you of itself with another from where you are, which is reflective, to help you to evolve through it, being a mirror unto itself, the genetic makeup. There is no jealousy. It is the wanting the difference between itself, where you are and where they are, which is a relative state, reflective state of being, not an evolutionary stance. So not everybody is where you are on the, per se, spiritual journey in evolution. They just hold certain domination or, uh, I don't want to say domination, but certain qualities, I'll say, about themselves that you have and you hold what you have to them. And so we're always reflecting back and forth to each other. Uh, the qualities of where we are and what we're holding in our manifestations of where we are in the moment, right? And so where are we seeing? Where are we being? Are we relating? Are we being to them or are they being to us? It's a reflection back and forth, right? And so when we have that dynamic, it's like our genetic information is trading information, right? It's, it's connecting because you can have like interactions with people all day long. You don't connect with them at all, but then there's certain people you do connect with and what is that connection? Is it because you're in a state of being love or out of love and along the timeline? Which one is that, right? So kind of looking at it that way, right? And so it's not that just because you relate to somebody on a certain level of awareness doesn't mean that's where they are on the journey, per se, the spiritual journey and evolution. They may be further or, or behind you, or you may be further or behind them, you know what I mean? So but it's just that we have that common denominator is the word I'm looking for, common denominator. <laughs> um, not dominion or anything like that, but common denominator um, that connects us to them, right? And that's kind of like the attraction uh, to that person or why we have it. And so usually in that connection, there's always information that we're receiving at that time. And if we're aware of it, then we can see it. But if we're not, then we're not gonna see it. We're just gonna have a connection with something we may not even know why. Um, but if we have the connection, we connect and we receive the information on it, then we receive and we understand if we're in awareness, right? So there's a lot more going on than just, oh, I have a connection with this person. But why, right? There's information being exchanged there for a reason, right? So 
you can see in your awareness where you are. This is my level awareness at this moment in time that I'm being connected to this person, right? Where this is my frame of reference. This is my, not my true being, because true being is all love, but this is where I am in the moment of it that's separate from love along the timeline, right? And so it's not the evolutionary stance. It's just a, a reflection of it. It is where it is that we are at the moment that we can see it from, which is a different perspective and reference to itself. So they have another perspective on it than we do. And we have, because everybody has their own uh, perspective and, you know, um, based on a certain situation. So how you're going to see a certain situation is going to be different. It's kind of like going back to, you can have two people going to a movie and one's going to come away crying, one's going to come away laughing, right? It's the perspective. Even though you have a common denominator, we're going to have different perspectives of it. And this interchanging mixing of the information to correlate and come up with something else in its relation, its reality, right? Um, this may be a little bit hard to understand if, you, if, you, if you're not getting it, um, but this is part of our... Uh, being in the world, right? Um, and so where it is that we are, that we can see it from, which is different perspective and reference to itself, being to see by, so it shares with the information in the DNA, right? The downloads by the experience that you're having, so that it is related to where you are. So to see it by your own being, that is related to source, right? Because source is love, so source is seeing it from that perspective, whereas if you're not in line with love at the moment, directly connect to source, you're on the other streams of consciousness, wherever that is on the timeline, that you're being in the moment. And so you're seeing from that while source is seeing that, and that's your separation. Where am I from love, and how do I get there? Right? What is the better feeling? And so the better feeling is whatever is in the moment. So if you're in sadness, you, your next movement might be hate, and that's where the emotional guidance system comes in and the emotional scale. Right? What is your next move to go to love? Right? How am I going to evolve through that to get there? Right? And your everyday situation. So for if you are, for if you were not there, then you would not see it. Is this making sense? Right? And so if if we're not like again going back to if we're not in that space then we're not seeing it. But if we're in love, then, you know, we're in love, right? And so it is the being that is related to source. For if you were not there, then you would not see it. So if you were in love, you don't see it. And that's why there's no judgment. There's no sin. There's no hatred. There's no judgment on source because source is love. And there isn't any that exists there. It's only outside of love, streams of consciousness. It's all in the timeline, right? And so is it making sense is the question that it poses, right? And so in order for you to see, you have to be in perspective of itself, its own presence. And so to notice the difference of where you are from not being, where is where you are at the time, that timeline, love or not love, an expression of itself in form, for if you're love, you see no difference in being. It is the being not of, that you see of form, that is a different reference, the expression of being, that which is to see by the eye, not the heart, right? And so, um, so to notice the difference of where you are from not being, which is where you are at the time, on the timeline. Again, it's just the expression of where you are at the moment. It doesn't make it right or wrong, good or bad. It's just where you are on the timeline. So love or not love is expression of form, right? So wherever you are is being expressed. And so from the timeline where you are in the moment, you're expressing that uh, to feel it, to understand it, to know it, to experience it, to see it, and then to release it, right? And to allow that to just evolve, right? And so to move through it and to navigate it in the world is to find something else that feels better from where you are in the moment. Again, going back to the emotional scale right from lack of love or emptiness to fullness or uh, true love and so the expressive form of love is by the heart to that which you see no difference which is relaying itself unto itself which is the difference between being not of love which is a reflection of itself outside of itself 
right? Because it is only being what it is being. It's, there's no difference. It's only the being of itself in relation to itself, of where you are on the consciousness the timeline. So the expression form of love is by the heart to that which you see no difference in its being. It is just being that which is seen the difference in different lenses, a different perspective of love, which is the timeline, right? And so you either are or you're not in alignment with it. So there's no perspective outside of itself that isn't being love. It's the experiencing of it being outside of love because we are love. We're the true love. That's our, that's our highest um, vibration energy. And, and we have the lower, which is the extreme streams from that. Um, and so you're both the seeing and the being at different perspectives. So that which you give or receive of is the being of itself where you are in different perspectives. To see by the eye or know by the heart is the expressive form of being that is related to source or that of yourself, where you are in of its being, in evolution of itself, timeline, right? And so um, with that being said, like I want to uh, just mention, like in order for you to see, you have to be in perspective of itself, right? Which is saying in of its own presence. So in order to be uh, present of your awareness, you are in presence. And a lot of people will put it out there that you're not in presence if you're not in alignment with source, but you are in presence and just not that you're in presence with source and alignment with love, but you're in presence of yourself or where you are. So we're always in presence. There is no not being in presence. We're just in presence of where we are. And even in ignorance, we're in presence of ignorance. So we're always present with what it is, where we are, what we're doing, how we're being and how we're seeing. Um, that's outside of love, right? Because only love is, and so only love is in alignment with love, and so you can't be anything else other than love, which is not love, right? So you have the different streams of consciousness, even the um, different consciousness of being present on that timeline. So from here, I'm present of this, and I'm present of this. So is the awareness of itself, which is a timeline in of itself. So there's a lot of different timelines going on, it's happening behind the scenes and we're not always aware of it because we don't have that condition or agreement of it. We've forgotten who we are and how we are and exist in the world um, that brings all this into um, alignment and perspective for us, right? It's doing it on its own behind the scenes. And so we really don't need to know it, but it helps to know how it actually is happening. So we can be aware of it and we can change and manipulate it and use that as a tool you know, in our evolution, our process, right? And so for us to be aware that we're not in the awareness of love is presence within itself at that time, right? At that, in that space, in that moment of what, wherever it is that we are on the timeline, right? <clears throat> and so just to be in awareness of itself is to notice the difference of where we are from not being, which is love, which is where you are at the time, the timeline. So love or not love, an expression of itself in form, where you are relating or in relation. Relation I've talked about is direct connection with source, whereas related is to outside of ourselves, to others. For if you are love, you see no difference in its being. So you can't see. That's why we experience and we come here to experience it with other things other than love. So if you are, um, if you are love, you see no difference in being because you are it. Right, just like a lot of times you're not um, aware of where you are. That's the unconsciousness aspect of it versus the awareness of it. Right, and so to add to that, uh, even in the presence of where we are in sadness, we're aware of it, but sometimes we're not aware of it. We're in consciousness of our sadness. Right. <laughs> um, so it happens on multiple different levels um, that's creating at one time to bring you to, into awareness because we may be doing things that we're not even aware of and then eventually the more we do it, we become aware of it. So we gradually go from unawareness of it to awareness of it through the process of practicing it, right? And so it evolves over time, which is the practice of being <laughs> um, who it is that we are, which is another topic in of itself. But... If you are love, you see no difference in being. It is the being not that you are seeing of, from, so in form. So it's not love that we're being here and there we're in love. So <clears throat> it's the practice of being in, in love 
uh, with all things, the awareness of it, if that makes sense. And that's a different reference in being to that, which is to see by the eye and not the heart, which is the feelings, right? And so um, with that, um, I mean, it's a lot to contemplate and to take in. Um, so to kind of just put it in, you know, similar words or how to express it, it may not be so clear. Um, but it's just that we have, you know, um, awareness on all different levels of being. Um, including our unconsciousness. Um, and as we become aware of it, we become aware of it where we are, and then we can take and make change into something else in its own awareness. So again, love or not love is expressive form, for if you are love, you see no difference in itself because you are love, right? And even when you're not love, you're seeing no difference in where you are, and that's why you need a reflective, right? Because until you see where you are and you know where you are, that's not love, then you don't know it, which is the unconsciousness. And so the being of unconscious becomes aware of itself, where it is in the moment, being that which it is, where it is at that time, in order to change it. I don't know if I said that clearer, but they want me to repeat it. Right? And so as you are in love, you're love, so you have no awareness of anything different. And same with if you're sad, you are in sadness, so you have no difference of being within it, which is like the Plato, uh, the cave um, scenario where you're in it, you're in that experience of it. When you step out of it, then you're aware that what was, what isn't, the difference, right? And so we come here to experience love, um, but from the perspective of not being love on all the timelines that we cross as we come along, you know, the evolution of the path. And so it speaks to difference is the relation, the relatedness to who we are, not just to ourselves, but to others, the reflection back to us of where we are. The consciousness of it is, which is the relation back and forth, the communication line um, that's sharing the information um, for you to become aware of it, right? And so it's the timeline in your experiences of where you are, so you can choose it because when you're feeling sad, you know, what are you doing? You're wanting to choose something better. You don't want to feel bad. When you're feeling sick, you don't, you want to feel better, right? And so it's choosing. We don't never choose to feel bad or we don't never choose to um, feel sick. You know, it just happens. It's the evolution of it. But from one to the other, when we come into it, we're experiencing expanding and awareness, trying to evolve through into back to love. So it's the conscious of awareness that is where it is that we are when we're doing what we're doing to experience it, right? Which is love <laughs> from all levels and all angles, right? And so basically that's pretty much what it is. And I'm just trying to get it out, you know, to in a way that you can understand it. And, um, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be in the books. Um, so you can kind of go and read it and kind of just contemplate on it. Um, it's they're self-published on Amazon.com, uh, um, <clears throat> so you can always do that. But they they really want to kind of let you understand about that. That's why they're they're bringing it out. And so the expressive form of love is by the heart to that which you see no difference in its being. It is just being that is seeing the difference in different lenses, uh, a different perspective, which is the change. Right. We once we become aware um, of where we are right and so you're in love and so because you're love you don't know any different you're in sadness and because you are in sadness you don't know any different until it comes to you which is reflective of the outside world because love can't reflect back to itself anything other but love because love is just love right and so love is where our source is it's the highest right um, of all creation uh, that we can evolve to in our being which is the bringing love or heaven to earth, right? It's the bliss, right? And so when we're um, trying to do that, well, we are in our awareness, right? And so basically why we came here, uh, you know, to experience this. Um, so you are both the seeing and the being to different perspectives to that which you give or receive of itself and the being where you are in a different perspective. To see by eye or to know by heart is expressive form of being that is related to source of that of yourself, which is the knowing, right? Where you are in of itself being in evolution of itself, which is allowing, right? And so when you allow yourself to be in the present moment, which we always are, it's just a different present moment of all beings, 
um, your awareness allows yourself to be there so you can see it. And depending on if you're getting it, right, it's because we can continue to be in sadness or depression or hopeless or suffering constantly if we're not allowing ourselves to be in the present moment. This is why it's helpful to understand this. Um, so we don't continuously, you know, stay in that frame of mind, um, which is perpetual, right? And so when we can see where we are in that moment of being, and then we can observe it in presence because we are present in that moment, we are being our true self, our, our identity form, which is our attachment to it, the creation of it, the awareness of it, the being it, the experience and expression of it, to bring it back to the norm, which is to norm, not to normalize it, but to bring it back into harmony, which is the expression of love, right? Where am I here from love? Where do I need to be to get there? And use things like uh, the emotional scale, you know, to get yourself back into evolution of source, right? The divine. So you are love, you are only not being it, that which is true, because our true self is love. And then here is not like our identity or form, things like that, where you are being in the moment that you are being is to express and experience it. Uh, love is true no matter what you're being or where you are. Right, and that's pretty much um, all of that there. But hopefully that was helpful and I didn't rattle on too much. Um, I kind of get often distracted and sometimes it brings me back around to repeat something uh, to make sure that it, it got out there clear if I didn't speak it in a way that should have been spoken. So hopefully it's helpful. Um, if you need any information on that, just post any questions below. I'll be happy to help answer in either another video or below in the comments. Um, if you want to do a session, um, I, we can set up a book a session, just reach out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.